Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To install the new control panel assembly, you will need a flathead screwdriver and a drill driver with a Phillips bit. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the washer. Pull the washer away from the wall. Unthread the two screws on the top panel. Slide and lift the top panel off. Unthread the screw securing the right side of the control panel. Open the drawer and push down on the push tab and remove the detergent assembly. Unthread the two screws that secure the left side of the control panel. Pry the three tabs, then pull back and lift up to free the control panel. Unplug the harness to the control panel. Pull off the control knob from the panel. These next three steps will be difficult. Pull back on the control panel, releasing the three tabs on the display board. Squeeze the control panel and display board together and use a flathead to pry the board up. Squeeze the panel and board together and pry the other side up. Remove the display board. To replace the control panel assembly in your LG washer, set one of the boards in the control panel and snap it into place. Set and snap in the other board into the panel. Align the control knob with the D-shaft and snap it into place. Plug the wire harness back into the display board. Insert the control panel into its grooves and push forward to snap in place. Rethread the two screws on the left side of the control panel. Align the detergent assembly and push in until it snaps into place. Rethread the screw on the right side of the control panel. Set and slide the top panel onto the washer. Rethread the two screws onto the panel. Push the washer back into place. Plug in the power. And your washer should be ready for use.